The Imposter Sketch Show is brought to you by Celibate Arby's. Celibate Arby's. No one beats our meat. Hello, and welcome to Is That Normal? The post-pandemic game show where we tell you if your behavior is justified by a year and a half of isolation, or if you're just a little freak. I'm your host, Noel McChicken, and let's get into it by meeting our contestants. First up, from Freehold, New Jersey, Taffy Lafferson. Oh, so great to be around people again, Noel. And we're happy to see you, Taffy. Next up, from Los Angeles, California, Butt Scratch Garfield. Please, Butt Scratch Garfield was my father's name. Just call me Butt. I don't want to do that. Please, I really need this. Okay, but I don't respect you. Moving on from Cleveland, Ohio, please welcome Cameron Michelle Godfrey. Wait, I thought you were doing funny character names for this sketch. I have no idea what you're talking about. I have to be Cameron Michelle Godfrey and Alex gets to be ass tickle Goldfarb? You know that's not right. Brian. Up. Oh, my name is Noel McChicken and this is a real game show. Fine, fuck. Let's get into our first scenario. This one's for Taffy. Is it normal to forget what day of the week it is? Well, I've been so disoriented working from home all year that sometimes I won't even know it's Monday until 10 a.m. So I'm gonna go with normal. Audience? Is that normal? Correct, Amundo. That is perfectly normal. Our next scenario is for Mr. Garfield. Please call me Butt. Mm. But, is it normal to hoard supplies during a global crisis? No. I think that's a very fucked up thing to do. Judges! Pew, pew, pew! Nailed it! But... Moving on to our third scenario, Cameron Michelle Godfrey. Brian, you know you can just call me Cam. Cameron Michelle Godfrey, your scenario is crying in your car in the drive through of Popeyes because you were just deeply moved by Glee's cover of Taylor Swift's Mind. Is that normal? But that, that's normal. Judges. Oh, I'm sorry. That's like, that's like really weird and you should be in therapy. Our next question is for Cameron Michelle Godfrey. Isn't it Taffy's turn? Cameron Michelle Godfrey, your next scenario is, is it normal, normal to hold a white claw with both hands at a party like a baby might? Aren't they supposed to be COVID related? Judges! That wasn't my final answer. I, 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 I. Sorry, Cameron Michelle Godfrey. The answer we were looking for is only an alien would do that. Do you have doll hands? I have people hands. Judges! What the fuck? Ooh, better luck next time, doll hands. Moving on, but first, a word from our sponsor, the ghost of Cameron Michelle Godfrey's dad. I'm disappointed in you, Cameron Michelle Godfrey. Wait, Ryan, that's really dark. I know. Moving on, our next contestant is Cameron Michelle Godfrey. It's not my turn. But you're the only one here. Ryan, what's going on? Next question. Is it normal to have no job and no friends? I have Friends. Oof, 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 Well, that's all the time we have on this week's episode of Is Cam Normal? Audience? Fuck you, Cam! Dad? Fuck you, Cam! Tune in next week when we invite the teacher Cam had a crush on in high school to throw her in a well. That's all, folks. Hi, I'm Pamela Wilson, 
And here at the Emotional Support Pet Store, we care about supporting you emotionally. All of our animals are fully trained to handle every kind of attack and episode from manic to panic. Whatever your needs, we've got a pet to match it. We've got fussy friends, scaly friends, and don't forget those old feather brains. Looking for something more specific? We'll work with you to find the best emotional support pal you could ever want. Have severe panic attacks? Try a giant schnauzer. Moderate panic attacks? How about a regular schnauzer? And for mild panic attacks, our miniature schnauzers will do the trick. <laughs> Hi, little guy. Got the blues? We've got bluebirds. Seeing red? We've got redbirds. Feeling magenta? Maybe seek professional help. What's that you say? Emotional support mollusks? You betcha. Got a fanciful imagination? Try an emotional support stuffed animal. Aw, I love you too. Or if you're extra fantastical, customers 13 and older can ask to see our back room. Fantasyland. And for our digital loving friends, the emotional support Tamagotchi. Isn't he cute? So if you're looking for goats, stoats, rats, bats, hogs, frogs, eels, seals, hares, mares, or hippopotami, we're the place to be. And for a limited time, come on in for our annual raining cats and dogs sale. From now until the 30th, if it's raining, you can get a cat and or dog for half price. The Emotional Support Pet Store. It's like having your therapist on a leash. Labyrinth Planning Committee. I hope you all had a great weekend. Now, as we all know, we just got that riddle memo from the Goblin King, and he's a little bit bored with the booby traps and puzzle rooms currently in the labyrinth. So it is our task to think of some new puzzles for the maze. So what did we all come up with? Bogsley. Okay, what about a room full of spiders, but they all make fun of your sister's knees? Oh, that's good. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll write that one down. Um, okay, Bankfurt, do you have any ideas? Okay, so hear me out. A room full of mirrors that all reflect the image of the mortal Nicolas Cage. Oh, that's good. Uh, yeah, the mortals have really mixed opinions on Nicolas Cage. That's great. Um, I'll share my idea next. What if there's this part of the maze where you go to a dead end and inside that room is just one of my potlucks. And it's just me all by myself, never mind the fact that I sent out invites weeks ago and spent hours working on my crab cakes. I don't know if that's good for the maze. Oh, <laughs> is, is that not frightening? Well, I thought it might be a little frightening since none of you showed up. I spent hours shucking crabs. Anyway, um, let's go over some more, some more ideas we have. Um, Bankfurt, you have something? Okay, so it's a hedge full of knives that are Shaquille O'Neal branded. Oh, that's scary. Mm. <laughs> you know what's scary? Um, <laughs> when you work with the same goblins for 15 years and 40 hours a week, and you think to throw them a nice party because you love them and no one shows up, and then you have to eat all of your own crab cakes in one night because seafood does not stay well. But then you throw up all the crab cakes and you slip in your puke and you fall on the floor and you cry and see your puke on the floor and you roll around and roll around for hours and hours. That's scary. Pyrex, you upset about the potluck? <laughs> no. No, I am not mad about the potluck. Not, not at all. Um, oh. By the way, I heard that your son got into the School of Goblin Interpretive Dance. Congratulations, that's so huge. Oh, thank you. Yeah, um, <laughs> just out of curiosity, do I have a little goblin of my own? Do I have my own little spawn running around? Oh, um, do you remember? We've worked together for 15 years. No. Yeah, that's what I thought. So, um, any more ideas we want to share? We've got nothing. Your potlucks suck. What? I said your potlucks suck. What, Bankfurt? 
You talk too much when we play charades. You both feel this way? It's not that difficult of a concept. There's only one rule. Uh, well, sorry. I like to have fun with my friends. Let's just, let's just get back to business. I have an idea for a really scary room. Everyone in it is just playing charades except one person keeps talking. Oh, and what happened that made you rule maker and king of charades? It's like the only rule. <laughs> At least I don't bring frozen pizzas to potlucks. You know what? It's not just the charades. It's not just the charades. You don't own any chairs, so we all have to just stand around hovering food over our plates. Well, excuse me for trying to promote good health and get everyone on their feet. Oh, it's not helping anyone. It's just uncomfortable. Okay, you know what? No room is going to be scary enough because the scariest thing of all is fake friends. So forget you two, I quit. Who kidnapped her kidnapped baby? The Imposter Sketch Show is brought to you by Halloween Candy. Halloween Candy. It's June and you're stoned. It'll be fine. Let's talk about the V word, the C word, and the other C word. No, not vagina cunt and coochie. Literally, the V and C word. When we talk like that about our reproductive health, we're apologizing. So consider this an unapology. Birth controls. It's not just a birth control. It's a vibe. It's a new type of birth control ring. But unlike those other rings, we're cool. We aren't shaped like a ring. We are shaped like a guitar. It goes in your bajingo. Ba jing go. You put it in so he doesn't have to pull out of your hatchet wound. Hatchet wound. Unlike those other birth control methods, we only last four days. Seven periods a month. You put it in yourself, you take it out yourself. This is a birth control for women who are on the go, who smoke weed and go to the gym seven days a week. Disclaimer, do not smoke while taking this product. It will cause blood clots. Continue to work out though, because the effectiveness of this drug will decrease 6% if you weigh over 125 pounds. Penis flytrap. What we put up with just to not get pregnant is not normal. Now there is a semi-annual, comfortable, controllable birth control. Serious risks of birth controls include blood clots, stroke, heart attack, and death, which can be fatal. Other serious risks include weight gain, spotting between periods, and pregnancy. Do not use birth controls if you are taking hepatitis C medication, vitamin C, or regularly drink water, as these can decrease the effects, as well as lead to eye bleeding. Other risk factors include those who smoke, are between the ages of 16 and 55, or who regularly have sex. It's time we stop apologizing for the way we talk about birth control and start demanding more from it. Ask your doctor about birth controls. I'm the EMT you called. What seems to be the problem? You're an emergency medical professional. I know what you're thinking. She is way too pretty to be a doctor. And yeah, but you know, this is kind of my side hustle, you know? My real career is on Instagram. Great, so do you have like a partner who can help me? Don't worry, I got you, boss babe. Women support women. Except for my bitch, Supervisor Rhonda, who keeps trying to tell me to stop vaping in the ambulance. She's a gross old hag, and we hate her! Isn't nicotine, like, the worst thing you can do for your body? Uh, yeah, girly girl. That's why I vape weed. So shortness of breath, huh? Yeah. And there's tightness in my... Mm, that's probably nothing. You just gotta have a better attitude about it. You know what really helps me? Just taking a moment away from the grind to breathe. I literally cannot. Oh, I so know what you're saying. Sometimes I just can't even. <laughs> like when Rhonda got bangs and she looked like Zoe de Chanel past her expiration date. Gross. I just could not. No, I... My chest. I can't. Oh, your chest! Why didn't you say so? You know what would totally help? This fab sports bra from Carrie Underwood's new fitness apparel line. Hashtag not sponsored. Hashtag sponsored. What? 
Girl, keep up. You're being such a Rhonda. Fine, let me check your vitals. Mm. Uh. How would you rate your pain on a scale of like, oh no, I lost a follower to like, oh gross, a dirty old guy asked for foot pics in my DMs. Nine? Mmm, mmm, yeah. So like Ryan Reynolds won't respond to your DM requests? No, like, I feel like my heart is being crushed in my chest. Mmm, yeah. We're saying the same thing. Oh, you want to take a selfie? No, I want to call. Mmm, yeah, let's take a <laughs> selfie. This pic is gonna be such a flex when I'm the next self-made star like Kylie Jenner. Ugh, mm. uh, cute! We are adorable. That blush is so cute on you. Wait, is, is that just your face? You're really that red? Ugh, that's actually really gross. That's a problem. <sighs> Fine, I'll try CPR, but you better not smudge up my lipstick or I swear to God we are not friends anymore. This is so boring. Let's go live. Hey girl boss nation, it's your girl Caitlin with four N's going live with this bad ass boss baby. Hey, what's your name? Hey. Shit. Rhonda, it happened again. The Imposter Sketch Show is brought to you by Flavor Rice. Flavor Rice, the sweet taste of nostalgia and a million tiny cuts on your mouth. Love is a beautiful and precious bond between two souls. A union of agreements to care for one another. But that doesn't mean you have to be a pussy about it. <laughs> Romantic metal favorites. For those who love to kick the living shit out of our hearts. <laughs> yeah. Featuring such wonderful songs as Grim Ejaculation. The love alive of his head back in jazz. Songs and so much more to fill the void of darkness inside your grim and necro soul as you share it with your partner. Mm. The 16 disc collection full of brutal bay bangers is available on Laserdisc, CD ROM, or cassette tape. <laughs> Just call 1 800 666 GRIM or type in www.romanticmetalfaves.com. MasterCard, Visa, American Express, and Discover accepted. Get yours today. <laughs> here for the last of my stuff. Yeah, come on in. So, I did a sweep, packed up most of your stuff, uh, but feel free to take a look around. Um, I always get lost with the books anyway. I don't care about the books, babe. I don't. I don't care about the books, Ashlyn. I'm just not, I'm not ready to. What, move on? Yeah. It's pretty late for that, don't you think? Right, right, you're right. Hey, do you remember that vacation? Oh, uh, who goes to Niagara Falls in March? It was freezing. I remember the wine keeping us warm. Yeah. 
That was fun. We were really good, weren't we? Something special. I know. I know. I know I messed up. Uh, um, oh, from our, our trip to DC? I don't want it. But we took this from Pelosi's desk together. No, you took it, Brett. I was too busy smearing pig's blood on the bus to President Taylor. That's right. That was really cool pig's blood, by the way. I, I always admired your artistic side. Don't pretend like you ever understood my art. Okay, sure. I mean, you were always the smart one. You're so artistic. I mean, do you remember when we lobbied to gerrymander the Sixth War down in Chattanooga? Yeah, that was wild. I mean, that was one of the hottest nights of my life. You really knew what buttons to press that night. You certainly knew how to disenfranchise thousands of minority voters. I mean, they weren't the only ones to get royally fucked that night. Don't, I, I can't get sucked back in. Do you even remember the very first thing I said to you? Barack Hussein Obama is an illegal alien communist! Of course I remember. Well, I only said that because it's totally true and because I saw one of your protest posters on Parlor, and I thought it was one of the most beautiful signs I'd ever seen in my life. You never told me that. Yeah, of course not. I... You can't go up to the cute chick at your first QAnon meeting and admit that you've basically been stalking her on Parlor. That's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. It's also really sweet. Listen, Brett, I'd love to sit here and go down memory lane with you, but I just can't. I get it. I... I get it. You don't want me storming into your house and wrecking everything. I... I can appreciate that. Just, uh, take my things and leave. Brett, wait. Yeah? Did you ever really love me? Did Hillary Clinton ever run a human trafficking ring out of the basement of a pizza shop? I'm really gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you too.